Trains, Part 4. Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 4 on Lecture on Trains. Now, before we start solving our first sum, let us revise a formula that we derived in the first lecture. Right, now the time taken for two trains to cross each other of length a and b that are moving at speeds u and v is equal to a plus b divided by u plus v. Right? Now, this is when they are moving in the opposite directions and it is denoted by these arrows. Right? One is this side and one is this side. Now, if they are moving in the same direction, right, then the time required for them to cross, that is the faster train to overtake the slower train, will be a plus b divided by u minus v. Easy, right? Let's start with the first problem. Problem 1. Two trains, 140 meters and 160 meters long, run at a speed of 60 km per hour and 40 km per hour respectively in the opposite directions on parallel tracks. The time in seconds which they take to cross each other is... Alright, now before you start solving the sum, you need to make a note of this. Whenever you have a problem of two trains, you do this. You write A, B, U and V. Right? This is to help us organize your information better. And you also make a mark that denotes the direction of the trains. In this sum, they are moving in the opposite direction, so we give this arrow. Now, this is just to remind us not to make a mistake. Now, what they said is that the length of the trains is 140 meters, 160 meters. This one goes at 60 kilometers per hour, and this one goes at 40 kilometers per hour. Now, we already know that the time required to cross the opposite is a plus b divided by u plus v. It's plus because they're moving in the opposite direction. Now, a plus b is 140 plus 160, that is 300. And u plus v is 60 plus 40, this is 100. Now, 100 ones are, 100 threes are. So, t naught is equal to 3. Now, if you write this answer, you will get it completely wrong. This is because you have not converted this into meters per second. So, now what we need to do is we need to first convert this to meters per second and then apply the formula. Now, you can convert each of them individually or you can add them up and then convert. It's the same thing. So, we'll add them up. 60 plus 40 is 100. So, 100 kilometers per hour, right? Or it's equal to 100 into 5 by 18 meters per second. So, 105 is 500. 500 by 18 meters per second. Now, we can apply it to the formula. So, T naught is equal to A plus B divided by U plus V. Now, A plus B is in meters. This is meters per second. Perfect. So, A plus B is 140 plus 160. That is equal to 300. And U plus V is 50 by 80 meters per second. Right? So, 50, uh, 500 by 80. Right? So, now, 18 will take it on top. So, it will be 300 into 18 divided by 500. So, 100s get cancelled out. So, 3 into 18 is 54 divided by 5. So, 5 ones are 510.8. So, implies the time required to cross will be 10.8 seconds. Easy? Let's go on to the second problem. Problem 2. A train moves past a telegraph post and a bridge 264 meters long in 8 seconds and 20 seconds respectively. What is the speed of the train? Alright, now for the second sum they've said that the train crosses a pole in 8 seconds and it crosses a bridge in 20 seconds. They've also said that the length of the bridge is 264 meters. Now, how you solve this type of problem is you apply the distance equation d is equal to st to both these scenarios. You get two equations and then you'll solve them. So now, if you apply d is equal to st for the first scenario, you know that when a train crosses a pole, it traverses its own length, right? So your d here will be length of the train, lt, speed is s, and the time taken will be 8 seconds. Okay? So now this is your first equation. Similarly, d is equal to st, you will apply to this scenario. Now here it is crossing a bridge. You know from the first lecture that when it crosses a bridge, it will traverse its own length as well as the length of the bridge. So your distance will now be length of the train plus length of the bridge is equal to speed is the same and the time here is given as 20. But we know that LB, length of the bridge, is 264 meters. So now we've got, this, is this, this will be the second equation, LT is plus 264 is equal to S into 20. Now we've got two equations with two unknowns, so we can solve it. Also, you can see this now, LT is equal to S into 8 or 8S. So we'll substitute the value of LT here. So now what we can write is, 8s, s8, 8s is the same thing, plus 264 
is equal to 20s. Right? Just take it on that side now. So 264 is equal to 20s minus 8s, which is equal to 12s. So the speed is 264 by 12. So this is 22. 22 watt. It will be meters per second. But as I told you, the standard in writing the speed is kilometers per hour. So you, you might not find 22 in your options. So what you do is just convert it. So 22 meters per second is equal to 22 into 18 by 5 kilometers per hour. Right? So this will be 396 by 5. So five ones are five sevens are so seventy nine point two kilometers per hour. This is the answer. Problem three: Two trains of equal length are running on parallel lines in the same direction at forty six kilometers per hour and thirty six kilometers per hour. The faster train passes the slower train in thirty six seconds. The length of each train is. Alright, now for the third sum, you need to rewrite this A, B, U, V table. Now, they are both moving the same direction, so you will give the arrows like this, just to remind us that they are moving in the same direction. And they said now, both the trains are of equal length, so you can give any variable here. I'll just give it as X and X, alright? They are both the same, you can use A, A, B, B, whatever you want. Now, they've also said that the trains, the speeds are 46 km per hour and 36 km per hour. Now don't convert it just yet. See what you have to do and then you convert it, right? Because it's simpler to do either u plus v or u minus v and then convert it. Now they're asking you what is the length of the train? Because the faster train, that is obviously train A, will overcome the slower train in 36 seconds. So they've said T same is 36 seconds. They've given you this. Now what is the formula for T same? A plus B divided by u minus v. Minus because they're both moving in the same direction is equal to 36. Now, you know that u minus v, so now you do it. 46 minus 36 is 10, so 10 kilometers per hour, but you need it in meters per second, so you will convert it. So 10 into 5 by 18 meters per second, so this is equal to 50 by 18 meters per second, right? Now, put it in this, a plus b is x plus x, so you can give it as 2x. Now, as I said, you can give it x, a, b, c, whatever you want. U minus V is 50 by 18 meters per second. So 50 by 18 meters per second, that's fine, is equal to 36. Now 18 will go on top, so you'll get 18 into 2x, so that is 36x by 50 is equal to 36. So 36, 36 gets cancelled, we have 1, 1. So x is equal to 50 meters. So this is the length of the train. Alright, so this is part 4 on lecture on trains. In part 5, I'll solve even more tougher problems. If you like this video and found it helpful, make sure you like it, subscribe to my channel and also tell your friends about it. I'd also appreciate it if you repost this on Facebook and help out as many students as possible. Cheers! Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get notification of any videos that I release. I make new videos every Thursday. Until then, spread the knowledge.